Today, we're in Durango, Colorado to ride the Durango and Silverton narrow gauge railroad to and from the town of Silverton. The track is narrow gauge, meaning the rails are only three feet apart instead of the standard gauge of four foot eight inches. The railroad is a federally designated National Historic Landmark and follows the original route of Denver and Rio Grande Railroad, who completed the original line in 1882 for the purpose of extracting gold and silver ore from the mountains. Despite the Denver and Rio Grande abandoning the line in 1968, the Durango and Silverton acquired it shortly thereafter, and the line has been in continuous service since it first opened in 1882. When we got near the top of the High Line, our train came to a stop and the conductor said there was something wrong with one of the wheels on the locomotive. The engineer got out and was looking under the locomotive with nothing more than a little gravel between himself and a sheer cliff. After about 15 minutes, we were given permission from the roundhouse to proceed, saying it wasn't really a safety concern and we were back on our way. So we're in Silverton now. We have about an hour and a half to have lunch and explore the town. Normally you have closer to two hours, but with the delay on the train and the wheel issue, uh, it ate into our time a little bit, but it should still be plenty of time to explore the town and see what it has to offer. So we ate at a restaurant called Natalia's 1912 Saloon for lunch, and it was pretty good. We both got elk burgers, mm -hmm. but when we went to pay, we were told the card reader machine was down, so we had to go to the bank across the street and get cash out. And as a lot of ATMs go in different banks that charge different fees and whatnot, so we got the cash and we got back. And when we got back, they had just fixed it, so it was a little mm -hmm. bit of a hassle, but it was still good. It was a little bit pricey, but that's kind of to be expected in a lot of touristy areas, so. It's something to be prepared, be prepared for, but it was still tasty and uh, I've never seen an elk burger before either. It was good. It was fun to try.
And with that, our time in Silverton comes to an end and it's time to board the train back to Durango. We had an amazing time on the train. The views were unbeatable, and there's always something about the pace of a scenic railroad and being able to take it all in, as opposed to being in a car where you'd likely drive past all this. Much of it can't even be seen from the road. After Durango, we headed to Moorfield Campground, the one campsite inside Mesa Verde National Park. 